Hi, I'm Marie and the sewing tip of the day today is stretch pins. Now if you ever had the problem when working with fine knit fabrics that you'll find that there's tiny little holes or ladders in the fabric itself, well if you have, more than likely the problem has been caused by using the incorrect pins. Now I've got a selection of pins on the table here and the most commonly used are the berry pins. Um, but berry pins are designed for woven fabrics um, as the flower pins are, they're, they're steel pins, uh, quilters pins which you'll, you'll see are very long, very sharp but inappropriate for stretch fabric. So the uh, glass head stretch pins have been designed especially to use on knit fabrics as I have here today. So I've chosen a very fine two-way stretch knit jersey. As you can see, it's quite stretchy. So I want to place my pattern. And so what I've got here is a berry pin. So I'll show you the difference of using a berry pin in opposed to a stretch pin. So as I enter the pin into the fabric, can you see that I'm having great difficulty pushing that pin through the fabric? I'll just do that again so that you can see. You see I'm, I'm really having to push firmly and up again through the fabric there. And with that motion itself, that is what could just um, pierce one of the fibres of the knit which is going to cause that ladder or that little hole. So here I have a glass head stretch pin and as you can see the pin just glides so easily through the fabric. So I have no fear of having any problems of any holes um, in my fabric. So that alone is just one of the secrets of successful sewing with knit is to use the stretch glass head pins easily identified by the small red and white glass heads and also the benefit of these if ever you come near with the iron to the pin the glass heads won't melt as the plastic heads do on these berry pins. So that, that's a bonus also. So when sewing with knit fabric, reach for the stretch glass head pins and you'll have another success story.